Hi friends. Since this week we're talking about rolling and how balls roll, I wanted to read you a story called Oscar and the Cricket, a book about moving and rolling. And the author and illustrator is Geoff Warren. One fall day, Oscar was up on the hill when he found something round and red in the grass. He sniffed it and nudged it. What could it be? Cricket jumped up. It's a ball, he said. You can make it roll. Try pushing it with your paw. So Oscar did. The ball rolled away through the grass, then lay still. Why did it stop? Oscar asked. The thick grass slowed it down, Cricket said. Try rolling it on the path. But a long branch was lying in the way. We'll have to move it, Cricket said. I'm not big or strong enough, but you are, Oscar. Try giving it a pull. Ooh, Oscar groaned. Slowly the branch started to move. Oscar put the ball on the path and gave it another push. This time it rolled along and along and along. The smoother the surface you roll it on, Cricket said, the farther it will go. It's rolling in a straight line, Oscar noticed, and it's heading toward... What's it heading toward, friends? The tree! Bounce! Oh dear, Oscar said. It's all right, said Cricket. The ball hit the side of the tree, and that made it roll in a different direction. So it bounced off the tree and rolled in the opposite direction. For a moment, Oscar stopped watching the ball to look up. All the leaves were swaying and fluttering. The leaves can move by themselves, Oscar said. It looks like it, Cricket said, but the wind is pushing them and making them move. Does everything need a push to make it move? Oscar asked. What about me? You can move by yourself, Cricket said. Most animals can. Our bodies have muscles to help us. And he jumped up and down. Moving makes you change shape, Oscar said laughing. We can use our muscles to move ourselves and to move other things too, Cricket said. A leaf cutter ant can lift 50 times its own body weight in its jaws. A hawk a hawfinch can crack a hard cherry pit in its bill. A spider monkey can swing its whole body by its tail. A dung beetle can push a ball the size of an apple with its back legs. An elephant can pull down a tree branch with its trunk. So the animals use different body parts to lift or move different things. Just then, Oscar saw the ball again, lying in the grass. This time he gave it a great big push. It rolled through some mud and it rolled through some leaves. Is it slowing down? Oscar asked. Yes, Cricket said, but it hasn't stopped. You gave it such a strong push. Maybe it will never stop, Oscar said. But just then a kitten put out a paw and the ball stopped. Hello, said Oscar. I'm Oscar, and this is Cricket. Who are you? I'm Ted, said Ted. Can I play? Ted gave the ball a push. Oscar ran after it. Look out, called Cricket. Run, roll, flutter, jump. Everything was moving on the hill. On the hill, Oscar found out about these things, getting going. An object needs an outside force, a push or a pull to start it moving. A push, like when the cat pushed it with its paw. A pull, when it pulled the tree branch away from the ball. And a push, like the wind pushed the leaves down. 
Keeping going. Once an object is moving, it travels in a straight line unless something gets in the way. Stopping. An object needs an outside force to make it stop moving too. The stronger the force, the more quickly it stops. It could stop after a short time, stop instantly, or stop after a long time. Oscar thinks moving and rolling are great. Do you think so too? And that is the end, friends. I hope you have lots of fun exploring which balls of yours can move and which can't, which can roll and which don't roll. Thank you, friends. See you soon. Bye-bye.